years. Okay. Yeah, going on seven. Yeah, going on seven. Sort of like a home to you. Mm, to a point, yeah, yeah, about now. He's a teacher. I'm a, I'm a teacher at the school. Okay. Um, so you're, you're a teacher at the school. How do you think the power plant is going to affect the school and, like, the enrollment and whatnot? Well, depending on if people leave, I'm not sure if they're going to or not. But, uh, you know, there are some kids, this family, that, that their parents do work there. And, and just depends on if they can get a job locally. And if they don't, then maybe they... They might, they might have to move. But. So you said the market closed in January? Somewhere around there. Know. I can't remember which. They closed before they announced the closing of the... Of the okay, so it's kind of like a double blow for the community. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of older people relied more on the store because, you know, they don't get out and don't go work like in Jeff and pick up things or work in Herman like I do and have to come up here, so... Okay. And then the pizza was always handy when you didn't want to cook stuff. <laughs> So you don't, you don't have any, no takeout pizza here, no grocery store? Well, we do, uh, the, they have, they finally picked up pizza down at the restaurant. Oh. So, okay. And we still go down there. And, and in the milk situation, no, we got milk. Well, we found out that the gas station has milk, so they have milk and bread. And, uh, how, how was the pizza over here? It was that, whatever the pizza is on the side. I can't remember what it was. So it wasn't very expensive. You can get all the toppings on you wanted. And, They'd be ready. I mean, everybody pretty well. That was the main thing for kids or anybody, parents or anything. It was real handy. Okay. Um, so this was like a main staple for the community. So people have to drive, you said, probably to Lynn, Jefferson City. So it's kind of an inconvenience. Yes. Okay. So what are your plans? Are you going to stay here? As of right now, I, we are. Because we uh, own our house, and right now I figured it would be hard to sell a house in the market. And teaching jobs are not as plentiful right now. Right now. And there are out there, but it's a lot of people are going for them. So we're, as far as right now, we're happy here, and uh, we got lots of stuff going on with my sports and PE and stuff. So, okay. um, so what's the community like here? Is everybody pretty much a tight knit community? Everybody's yeah. There's a lot of families here. There's a lot of families, you know, that relate it. So they kind of like to stay here with their families, especially the ones if I work at the factory, you know, I, I would be the same thing. I'm kind of away from my family. My kids live in Columbia, well, in Columbia, and his mom lives in Colorado, so we have to travel everywhere. <laughs> but, all right, I think that's all I have. Yeah, how's uh, the mood now in the city? What's that? How's the mood now here? The mood? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. what are people talking about? Um, well, I think everything's going all right, even though this had gone down and the plants going down I think the mood is all right I mean I think it's uh, the town and overall is doing well so <laughs> yeah I think they have a lot of community support I mean there's a lot of people that works behind the scene trying to get things going in the city trying to get you know new businesses I think there was one that opened down there pedals and there's an antique shop a lot of stuff that's open so far, staying fairly busy, but optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I hear there's more tourists coming here. Um, I I really don't know, but they they try to do that. They have a you know we have historical buildings around here, and, you know the schoolhouse. Like on Shamoy days, you have it's a big crowd here in mm. September. Yeah, and yeah. It was, it's annual Shamoy days that bring a whole bunch of people, and they bring lots of vendors down the street and. All kind of stuff happening at the park and down the main drag here and stuff. So, of course, you're on the river. Yeah, yeah. we got camping on the river. There's a lot of camping. My brother from Texas found that online and come down to visit me, and they camped out. <laughs> oh, wow. so. And everybody knows your name. I mean, I like communities and knows your name. You go in the bank and they ask, "Where do you live?" And they know where you live. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell my brother, "Just go to the bank at the gas station. They know where we're at if you get lost." So. That's what I like about small communities. I mean, it'd hate that this, you know, community would dry out. I mean, you know, there's so many economic and the things you got to do now to for the what do you call it, the global warming stuff, the rules you got to put up. I mean, for small communities, it's hard. You got to get grant money to cover expenses, and, and but hopefully the school stays. I mean, yeah. small schools are good for kids. I think. Yeah. Okay, so sounds like there's 
both of those that when one yeah. door closes. Yeah. I think the power plant is actually helping to this transaction through. I understand they're still going to have, I don't want you to misquote me because I don't know, or going to kind of, it's going to be phased out with the tax part for the school, which won't be a, a automatically mm -hmm. hit the school all at once. Well, yeah. yeah. And the school's doing measures to, to be up on everything with the funding with the state and the federal mm -hmm. and the, and with the way the tax base is, you know, in Osage County. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. Excellent.